With over 300 sessions at Next 2018, it's understandable you couldn't get to them all. So if you didn't see what's new with TensorFlow, then stay tuned because here's the rewind. So what's TensorFlow? TensorFlow is a machine learning framework that's been used to go hunting for new planets and discover solar systems similar to our own, prevent blindness by helping doctors catch diabetic retinopathy early, and save rainforests by alerting authorities to signs of illegal logging activity. It's what AlphaGo and Google's Cloud Vision are built on top of, and it's yours to play with. TensorFlow is open source. You can download it for free and get started today. And we've been working to make it easier and more useful than ever before. Here are some of my favorite highlights. Let's start with TensorFlow Eager. If you tried TensorFlow in the old days and ran away screaming because it forced you to code like an academic or alien instead of like a developer, there's great news for you. TensorFlow Eager Execution lets you interact with it like a pure Python programmer. All the immediacy of writing and debugging line by line, instead of holding your breath while you build those huge graphs. Keras plus TensorFlow equals easier neural network construction. If you like object-oriented thinking and you like building neural networks one layer at a time, I think you'll love tf.keras. In just these few lines of code, we've created a sequential neural network with all the bells and whistles, new languages. You asked and we listened. TensorFlow is not just for Pythonistas anymore. It now runs in many languages, from R to Swift to JavaScript. And speaking of JavaScript, you can train and execute models right in the browser with tensorflow.js. TensorFlow Lite brings model execution to a variety of devices, including mobile and IoT, giving you more than a 3x boost in inference speedup. Yes, now you can get machine learning on your Raspberry Pi or your phone. See the full talk for a live demo of image classification on an Android emulator. Satisfy your need for speed with cloud TPUs. If you're tired of waiting for your CPU to finish churning through your data to train your model, you can now get your hands on hardware specially designed for the job. And we've just announced the V3 TPUs in alpha. Next, make your input processing more expressive and efficient with the tf.data namespace. tf.data gives you fast, flexible, easy to use data pipelines synchronized with training. And finally, you can find and share solutions on TensorFlow Hub, which is a repository for reusable pre-trained machine learning model components, packaged for one line reuse, which is awesome. So that's it for my favorite highlights. If you'd like to see the full talk, check out the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Cloud YouTube channel for more great Next Rewind content. Thanks for watching.